because you've had the day matches? It's a good but question. I thought last year, you know, I mean, there's a chance I could play Marty again. You know, if you look at it one way, I'm going to have more rest than him. Mm -hmm. But I've also, I also played during the hotter time today. It was the same thing as last year. But also last year I went out and I, I finished the, the doubles draw as well. So that was after I had my semifinal match. I played doubles. It's like me going out there right now and, and playing doubles. So. Um, I think I'll, I'll be, for tomorrow's fight, I'll be more, more rested than I was last year, for sure. Can you talk about your break to go up 2-0 in the third set? That seemed to be the back breaker. Yeah, it was, um, it was huge. I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't panic after I lost the, the second set. I, I could have won it. It didn't happen. Um, I, I, just, I returned really well on the third set. I, the, one, the return I hit to get me break point was great. I mean, I hit an inside-out backhand return two inches from neither line, and he couldn't get it back. So that got me the break point. Thankfully, he, he missed the first serve, and I was able to get in the point and work it to my advantage. And I kind of got lucky with the ball and the drop volley type thing. But yeah, I feel like I earned that break. So that was uh, took some pressure off for sure. Did you make a fresh calling change in between the second and third set to help you he didn't? Think that, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think I was probably sweating. I sweat a lot, so it helped me so much against James. And if I go three sets tomorrow, I'll do the exact same thing. I mean, I try to go as quick as possible. I know it's kind of a long break, but I got to take off everything, my ankle braces, my socks. And that's the annoying part is the ankle braces. You got to put those back on. So it takes a little bit of time, but I had to change everything. So it definitely refreshes me. It did today and it did the other night. John, you talked about about seedings going forward and how important it was to uh, at least duplicate your success uh, from last year to this week. Yeah, it's huge. You know, if I can, uh, there's only only one way to improve my ranking this week, and that's by winning. And I'm um, I'm one match away from doing that, so that would be absolutely huge. And I'm also one match away from back to back wins. But I know uh, whoever I play, it's, it's, it's going to be tough. I'm just thrilled to be in the final. It's, it's tough to make a final at, at this level, and I've, I've done it for my last two tournaments this year. Encourage the fans to come tomorrow and wear some red. Sorry? Encourage the fans to absolutely, come Absolutely, absolutely. I think uh, some folks from, uh, from Athens may be coming up, so I should have to have a lot of, lot of support for them. Is there anything that you learned from uh, the defeat in last year's final here that you've applied, uh, for example, in Newport earlier this year, or that you may apply tomorrow? I think so. I mean, last year I lost three really tough finals. One to Sam, I was six, three, five, four, serving with a match point. Lost that game, lost the match. Another one with Sam, I was two points from winning the match. The second, the tiebreaker on my serve, lost that. Again, to Marty, was seven, six in the third. So I lost three tough finals. And I think in the Newport final, I just, I just stayed really calm. I, I think last year. Uh, you know, I was arguably could have won all three of them. And then when I kind of my opportunity kind of slipped away in all those matches, I kind of panicked a little and, and didn't play my best. Same goes for, for Newport. It could have been a lot, a lot easier of a win, three and something. But I had to fight it out in a second set tiebreaker. But I just remember staying calm and 
um, play my game and just tell myself if it goes to a third, I still like my chances. I still think I'm the favorite. So there's still really no pressure on me. In that point that got you the break early in the third set, was it your draw volley that um, that prompted him to hit hit that log that helped you finish the point? Yeah, because he had a good, what a pass, but he had a good show, good backhand, and kind of it was really barely got over the net, so I couldn't do much with it. I just kind of reflexed the ball back and kind of a junk volley, but it, it worked out to my advantage. And you know, I'm sure he wanted to get a little bit more air under the ball, but he didn't. And, I had an easy put away. Yeah. Well, I was really happy the way I the way I played that point. You want to play break points aggressively, especially in third sets, and especially in you know big matches like, like this one. And so I did that today. How would you compare this venue to last year's? It's uh, I don't know, it's, it's pretty similar. I mean, I I love the court. I love th this court especially. It's great, but the sound of the ball is it's kind of a you know sunk in court. So, uh, I, mean, I think a lot of players will tell you that that makes for, for better play for, for whatever reason. The ball just sounds good you know, uh, down there. But it's a hard court. It's my favorite surface. Like whenever the ball doesn't, you know, when it, and I think the lines here on, on this court skid a little bit more. But when they don't touch the line, it's, it's a high bouncing court. And it works to my advantage, especially when I'm able to hit a forehand. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you.